everybody, it's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads and tonight I'm going to do my 30 minute alone challenge at the Spring Hill Cemetery. Finally had a chance to get back out here, sun just set, it's about 8.30. Um, awesome day today, everything's going good. Took a nice uh, bike ride with my son. Um, just had some good bonding time with him and uh, just really a good day to just clear our minds a little bit and uh, I figured I rode right past this place on our way back gotten uh got my camera ready and everything and said i have to come back and here i am so uh let's see what's going to go on here tonight i'm going to head back to that back corner where i thought i heard all kinds of crazy stuff so we'll see you guys inside deuces Okay, so here I am I'm in the back side of the cemetery again. I'm not going to go in the woods or anything. Um, I'm going to try and do a 30 minute video. I don't like being out at this cemetery, so, um, but here we are. Let's have some fun, people. I hope this video finds everybody happy and healthy and safe. I'm also contemplating whether or not to, um, so my autofocus isn't working, why not? What is going on? So I'm um, contemplating whether or not in this video, I might just leave this to you guys to tell me what you might hear. Um, if I hear something clear, I'll probably put it in, but um, some people said they like that I do that with the Necrophonic app, so it's not suggestive. Oh, there's a car pulling in. Okay, there's a car pulling in here, guys. So I'm not going to be so alone. I don't like that. Alright. They parked in the front. I parked in the back. So I'm going to hang out over here. I don't know if that's an animal or not, but... <clears throat> I 
Nothing, not a single sound. I heard a ton of noise back here last time. hearing sounds but I don't hear anybody or anything back there moving that sounds like screaming This is going to be a good one. This is going to be easy. I can, I, I, you know, I get a feeling that things are going to be a little crazy, or I get a feeling that it's going to be fine. But um, there's a uh, the actor, Michael Teleferio. Yeah, there's, there's people here now. Shoot. Damn it. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a shorter video. Because it's just not... It's not the same with people around. So... I hope you understand. I don't want to. I don't want this whole whole video. Yeah, there's a guy out there, and it looks like there's two more people over here. So, damn it. Um, maybe I'll make this quick and go see if I can catch up with Joe. And do another video, but we'll see. Um, nah, this stinks. It's just not the same. Again, I hope um, I hope this video finds everybody happy, healthy, and safe. Um, I will kind of update you guys. I I have some family in New York that. Um, So you don't know if that's people over there or <sighs> Damn. I just hate to waste time it's precious <clears throat> but uh, my two cousins I uh, think they have the the, the coronavirus so um, keep our fingers crossed keep them in your prayers Michael Amanda uh, Amanda's on the later stages of it and they say that um, they can't get tested because New York is very limited to kits and uh, they refuse to test them so my cousin's a little more higher risk. My cousin Michael is uh, Amanda's wife. Um, so, you know, we're hoping that he can get tested uh, by tomorrow, but it's not looking like they can get tested. So um, they gave him some things to look for. Because um, I guess it goes in stages. I don't know if it's true or not, but she's in the final stages of it, and they said she's fine. She's in the clear. So that's awesome. Um, other things going on on our end... Uh, same old, same old, you know. Um, still taking care of dad. Actually, we uh, found out the other day the doctor recommended that we have hospice come in um, to to kind of assist them uh, to make them a little more comfortable. Not necessarily end of life uh, stage hospice. I guess they kind of they do long term care. So 
Um, he's just declining rapidly. Thank you everybody who sent the happy birthdays to my father. I, uh, I scrolled through a whole bunch of them and he smiled. He thought it was pretty neat. So uh, that's really cool. Thank you. But I'm sorry guys. I think, I think I'm going to cut it short. So there's somebody right here behind me. So How are you? Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Get out of here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm sorry. Your name again was? Debbie. Debbie. That's right. Yes. You can't get enough of this place, I huh? I know. I've been here like three times the last week. Since we, yeah, well, what yeah. were we, we were here two weeks ago? Yes. I think, yeah, when we saw you. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm here with some other friends tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get out of your hair. I was going to. I'm sorry. Cut. No, no, don't be sorry. Your... No, that's all right. I'm just going to cut sorry. it short. So. We went over to, um, <clears throat> I'm down near Holiday and Cloak. Yeah, oh, um, the Anclo Cemetery. That's yeah. freaky, isn't it? I know, but tonight there was some house nearby was playing music so loud. Oh, I see. So ah, that's so funny. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> did so you watch the video that we, yes, we did? did? Oh, yes. that's neat. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah. Well, it's good seeing you. I hope you, everybody's good on your end, safe yes. and healthy. Yes. Thank You're God. All good. Yeah, I found out I got a couple of cousins that, uh, oh. um, yeah, that think they have it. So, but they're oh. they're doing okay. So well, I know I, I commented on you on the video because everybody was like, "Oh no, you shook hands." <laughs> uh, yeah, that was earlier. We're good. I think we're good. I hope we're good. <laughs> Bye. Be safe. What are the odds of that? <laughs> That's cool. So two weeks when we all did our collab out here, um, Debbie and our other friend. I, I, I'm so bad with names, but um, they were here. They're back. So that's pretty funny, guys. I'm sorry. I'm kind of bummed, but it's not its not a, a long challenge, and I don't want to keep bumping into everybody. But um, I'm glad I bumped into them because they're so sweet. Uh, we will see you um, We'll see you the next time. I'm going to probably go try and catch up with Joe and maybe do a video with him. So maybe I'll make this a two-part video. So we'll see you soon. Deuces. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads and uh, tonight uh, I actually if, I'm not sure if you're gonna see this before you see the 30 minute alone challenge. I was at the Spring Hill Cemetery got cut short um, So check that video out. It's short. Sorry guys. Not my fault uh, stuff happens, but left there called Joe um, to see what he was up to and got him rolling this way and we're gonna shoot another video so he met me at my house I showered, changed, and uh, we are at this, uh, it's called the Little Red Schoolhouse. It's a, I, I've known this place all my life. I grew up here. I used to ride my bike here. I hit my first home run on the baseball field right back there. Um, there's this lake house, which is like a, uh, a, a hall that they rent out. I've been to weddings, parties, all kinds of crazy stuff um, in this place. So, um, Growing up as a kid, everybody told us how haunted it is here. Um, behind here, all around here in the woods and stuff. And now there were some crazy things that used to go on with... Um, if you've seen videos um, at the Brooksville Cemetery, that's kind of wraps around in this area. Um, but there was this crazy area. There was a guy that used to live back there. And they we used to find like... A, cow skulls and all this stuff oh, really? and it used oh, wow. to just freak us out and they said he was really psychotic um it was just a little house off the back side of here um so we were always freaked out coming here i, I heard agree. that yeah what the hell was that shit we were always freaked out coming back here by ourselves um or at night so uh here we are many many moons later and uh now I'm looking forward to hang out here, hanging out here. So we're gonna just kind of walk the grounds. Uh, we're not sure certain areas. We don't want to push the envelope. But we're not sure if we're, we're really allowed to be behind and all that. But we're just gonna kind of walk around, see if we can capture anything. But if not, at least it's a little nostalgic to me and sentimental once again. So uh, it's kind of cool to be back here. We'll see you guys in a minute. Deuces. Okay. So when Joe was shooting his intro, I've been trying to think of. We used to call. And, and I, I, I said it was like something like Death Valley it was like there was a little trail that led up to this guy's house and stuff. And but I don't know if that's what it was called, but it was something to that effect. And the dude was just creepy. Um, we saw him a few times, a couple few times, and 
he was not a friendly guy. Um, so he's, I'm sure, long gone by now, but he was a evil person. Then there was also, <clears throat> there was also, and I'm going to tell Joe about this too while I tell you. Hey, Joe. Yeah. So there was years ago, uh -huh. right off the backside of here, there was, uh, what was his name? It was Phil something or other. He and a, another guy, you remember where the pickle parrot was, where that gas station is right there? Yeah. Okay, so there was, a, it was called the Presto back then. And uh, they took the girl working behind the counter and tied her to a tree and oh my God, raped really? and, yeah, just crazy. And then they actually went back and then they killed her. Um, and he lived right off the backside of this little red wow. schoolhouse here. I, I lived literally two blocks um, north of here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, he lived right by the Garifanos right oh, over there. Wow. So, so yeah. Is that back here, Chris? That was right back in this back corner. So wow. there's a lake right here. So if you go down to the lake, which we can't go to because that's everything's off. There's a boat ramp right over there. So that's off limits. They closed all that down. Oh. But after this coronavirus also, might be a good explore for us when that's reopened to go back that way as well Check it out. because yeah. there's there's a path that goes all the way around we used to ride dirt bikes back there and stuff and so there's there's a lot of weird stuff that's happened in this area um but okay so we want to be sure that we can okay private property no trespassing so we're going to respect that okay so we're not going to go you could probably go back here in this park would that be correct uh, I, I'm not sure. Is this a public park? I, I I'm not sure. I see it, the chain right there. But I will tell you this. This corner right over here uh -huh. is where we used to find a lot of... Now, this was all woods back then. This right. parking lot was woods as well. But right on this back corner, there was a path. And we might be able to... If it's still there or not, I don't know. But where's my flashlight? All right, let's check it out. Now, this is Chris is telling us... That they would find a lot of animal skulls back here, and there was some guy that had a house. I guess in the adjacent corner over there. Yeah, right back here. Find the woods. Urban legend had it that he was. Yeah, you see this path? See this path right here? Oh, the path is still here. And then it would go around to here. So now they, they took over all this property. Um, so, but I'm telling you what, man, the house was not far from here. Okay. And if we come up this way too, Joe. I just heard a scream. I don't know if the camera would have picked it up because it was kind of in the distance. But yeah. This way. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The camera picks up some stuff, man. <clears throat> you hear that? That could be anything, though, right? That could be even road noise, Joe. Well, not many cars out, but. I'm just trying to. So when I was, oh, geez. when I I believe I was five or six, my family moved here very stereotypical italian family we came to this area and bought a garbage business um and which in turn gave us a very good life as kids growing up um but it was awesome because i had the best of both worlds because pretty much every summer i would get out of school here and go right to new york and spend most of my summers in new york and able to go to Mets games and 
all that good stuff um, and be with family up there so over here though is where I first the first time I ever played baseball was right over here um, we used to have our games here and I got my first ever game ball and I must have been six or seven and it was kind of an amazing story. It was, uh, Rocco Sirocco was up. And I don't know if Rocco will see this video, but if he does, love you, brother. He's a great person. But Rocco was one of those kids that when we all looked like we were six years old, he looked like he was 14. So every time he pretty much hit the ball, it was a home run or a line drive. You know, it was just crazy. So I was playing second base, and I was probably the smallest kid on the team at the time. It was my first year on an organized baseball team. And our shortstop, Ron Turlong, another awesome guy, <clears throat> he's playing shortstop. And he was great. He was about two or three years older. Because I think it went from six or seven to ten, the league. So I was one of the smallest and youngest kids on the team. Rocco gets up. We're winning the game, and there's two outs, <laughs> and I don't remember. There was a couple of runners on base, and we were up by one run, and Rocco's up, and he hits, he hits a ball that must have been a mile and a half in the, in the sky, and it's coming to me, and I sort of did one of these. I got it. I got it, and all the coaches are going, no, no, let Ron get it, and I went like this. Why? And the ball fell right in my glove. There were screams. My family heard the scream, like the family that wasn't at the games. Everybody heard the screams from our house a couple blocks away. They're like, what is going on? What, what a game they must be having, whatever. I caught the ball. We won the game. The whole team signed it. It was awesome. And that was my first ever, first of a few game balls. Um, it's just kind of cool. Reminisce a little bit. I remember my grandfather was out here. My uh, my mother's father. He used to love watching us play ball. So yeah, I, I literally let, went like this. Why? Why can't I catch it? And it fell right in my mitt. And I remember seeing Ron run right across, right over my face. He just kind of went right past the ball, and ah, I knew what I was doing. So sorry guys, got a little sidetracked, but it's fun to reminisce a little. I'm going to head back over here. Joe's over by the Little Red Schoolhouse. <clears throat> now, this is an actual library. And we used to ride our bikes all over this place. Everywhere around here. <laughs> Great fun. And if you guys want to laugh, do a Google search on the Chicken Plucking Contest. And when you are done laughing, this is where it took place originally, right here. This was the original spot for the chicken plucking contest. There used to be a parade, and the parade uh, would start out. Oh, gosh, it was so far away, and the bands and stuff would come and march up here. I, I was actually a drummer, so I was in the band one year. and. <clears throat> And then when I was about 12 or 13, a, an older lady sort of, I don't know exactly how it happened, if she had a heart attack or was confused, but she came on the opposite side of the road and plowed through the band, um, killed a couple of people, and that was the end of all of that stuff. Sad time, but is reality. I do want to focus more on that back wood line when we get a chance, but and they used to have the Italian festival here too and uh, Joe and I used to take our families here. It was always a good time. <clears throat> so that's the Little Red Schoolhouse.
And here's the baseball field. Right over here, there's second base straight ahead. That's where I caught that ball. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't been out here in a long time, guys. <clears throat> So this was like the original Hernando or Spring Hill library. And I wish I would have looked up some of the history on it, but it's been around for forever. And then down by where I told you that boat ramp was, was the actual community college as well. Chris told me tonight and I wasn't going to do a video and I really don't like to pass the public. Something. Even if we don't capture anything, like bugs and mosquitoes all over me, it's still fun to come out. Oh! What's that? I heard a boom. I just heard something. I don't know if this camera would have picked it up. I, I didn't hear anything, but then again, I was talking at the same time. Um, one of the cool things about coming out doing videos is that Oh, wow. I'll tell you what. It really brings back some memories. I honestly can visualize my family sitting along these baselines watching the games. It's so cool. I didn't even know the field was still here. So if you could see where that, I don't know if you could see straight ahead the light, there's a house right there. That was the Mezaruski's house. And that's pretty much where that kid I was telling you about, that's where he pretty much would hit his home run balls every time. Pretty neat. A lot of neat stuff here. There was a circus here actually one time. and. Tiny Tim, <laughs> the tip through, tiptoe through the tulip guy, was here. And gosh, I don't know. I have to, I have to call a couple of friends. So I don't know if it was myself and my friend Skip or my friend Ernie. And we were up here and they were doing the circus stuff. He came off and off of that house I was just showing you, where the Mezaruskis lived, was his little trailer, Tiny Tim's trailer. So. We were riding our bikes back there, and we saw him go into his trailer. And <laughs> um, we noticed uh, he had a girl in there with him. And uh, we were looking through the trailer window, and uh, sure enough, Tiny Tim got to business. And let me tell you what, I know why they call him Tiny Tim. It looked like uh, looked like a button on a fur coat. And when uh, but he did what he had to do, and we laughed so hard. I'm sure we we <laughs> we blew it for Tiny, and rode our bikes out of there like maniacs. Gosh, I gotta ask. I don't. I, I really think it might have been my friend Ernie, but I'll never forget it. Thank you guys for letting me reminisce a little bit. He had a trailer. He had a trailer. I now see why they call him Tiny Tim. I told you that story a couple times, right? Yeah, you told me that story years ago. So it was right off of the outfield here. So they had the circus. So the circus was like in, in the baseball field. Uh -huh. And uh, his trailer was behind the Mezaruski's house, which was the house right outside of, if oh, you hit, okay. so go over the fence there. Buildings. It was in a trailer. No, it was in a trailer. Like okay. a little one, small little trailer. 
and uh yeah peeked through the window and there he was yeah yep looked like a button on a fur coat <laughs> <laughs> And now that I know why they call him Tiny that's Tim, because exactly right. yeah, he was uh, he wasn't tiptoeing through that tulip. He was right. trying to uh, <laughs> he was trying to run through it as fast and as powerful as he can. Through the tulip. Now watch me get a watch me get a copyright infringement for singing that. Shoot, I might take that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I, I told Joe that story several times. But I, I do want to. <clears throat> I feel good uh, just to be back out here. It's neat. Really neat. A lot of good things. A lot of good memories. Some, uh, some I can't tell you guys about. Hey, you know what, Chris? You know what would be awesome? Huh? I wonder if the necrophonic app... <laughs> it says Tiny Tim? Tiny Tim? Tiny Tim? That, awesome? that would be funny as hell. <laughs> I knew it was you! <laughs> you blew it for me! I can't even get my voice out. How do you... Yo! How do you have testicles and get your voice that Yeah, high? yeah. He, you can't have, you have he didn't voice. really have testicles. <laughs> no <idea>. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tiny Tim. We're, I guess it's just bringing fun. some fun stories to your house, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Want to do the necrophonic app on the bench? Yeah, let's do the necrophonic. And I'm do. curious now. Tiny Tim. <laughs> tiny Tim. If we hear Tiny Tim Actually, on this tiny thing, Tim then we'll know it's pass. free. Oh yeah, he passed a while ago. He passed a while ago. So, maybe... Good old Tiny. Maybe. Oh, I knew it was you. You're a cock block too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right. So... All right, guys. We're going to sit down and do the Necro app. Yeah, let's sit down and do it. But again, thank you for letting me reminisce a little. This is uh, bring it in, you know... You know, it's funny. I was just telling that second. story. Yeah, I just told it and I heard, then I turned around and heard you telling it. All right, so let's see. I told you that story a long time ago, right? Years ago. Years so I ago. don't know if it was Ernie or Skip that was with me. I got to find out. I don't know. But all I know is Tiny Tim was tiptoeing through the tulips here. He wasn't tipping. What was the other song? That's the only I, song I know of Tiny Tim is tiptoe through the tulips. But, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see if Tiny Tim comes through. And actually, we have so, a couple things, right? <laughs> so maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll pick up the urban legend story maybe we'll pick up the, the the story chris told about the woman who's tied to a tree here which is an awful thing it, what that part was not here though that was, was up further north but that's where he lived that's and like that's where the they captured over him. here oh, okay. and the guy that committed yep. the actual murder there were two of them there they were both arrested one was life in in prison and uh he died maybe 10 years ago of like some kind of cancer so maybe there is karma right <clears throat> and there's also karma up the street it's a sports bar if you ever want to go and have a <laughs> yeah drink. if you're ever in this area <laughs> my buddy owns uh well you can't go there oh, now but in spirits can't uh, go there Chris now and I but... had many of fun nights at so all right so in the meantime all right, so we have three things to see if the <laughs> necrophonic... Actually, if you're ever out and about... And if I hear tiptoe through the tulips yeah. on this thing, I'm going to... Guys, I may pee my pants, and I, I, I it's I'll, it's going to be hysterical. <laughs> but so. if you're ever in this area and you're looking for me, that's pretty much the only place I ever hang out. I shoot pool for them and all that good stuff. So if you're ever in the area and think you might want to try and come say hi to me when this is all that's said and done, that's that would be the spot where you might find me. All right, so tonight... We are trying to reach Tiny Oh, Tim. Tiny, come to us. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, God. If I hear... Oh. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it be like, wouldn't it be funny if he comes to me and goes, I saw you looking at my <laughs> tiny <laughs> thing. All right, let's the see The button on the fur coat's not funny. <laughs> 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 I right. didn't shave for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> looked like a, it looked like a regular M&M sliced in half. <laughs> There you have it. Now listen, this is eyewitness <laughs> testimony right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what yeah. what we're dealing it's a great with great story. I'm glad I we got to share. We could be dealing it. with a big time 
urban legend or a small time problem <laughs> that Tiny Tim had. So we don't know yet. <laughs> it could be. You never know. Let's see what we oh, can do. All right. right. Necrophonic app. Come on, please. Tiny. Tiny. Come on, Tiny. Then I'll know this thing's for real. Let's see. Hold on. I'm put my sound on. <clears throat> A button. A button. <laughs> On a fur coat. Please tell us about Tiny Tim. Button. Button. <laughs> and then it said it's not funny. <laughs> Wait, I think that's what it said. Tiny, did you know that Chris was watching you through the window? Through the window. <laughs> it's gone. Is there any truth to any questions that we will ask about the urban legend? Can you tell us about the urban legend? What, what did Chris witness through the window? Through the tulips, by the window. I don't know. Until we listen to this back, we really don't know. Was Tiny, why was Tiny Tim named Tiny? Yeah, usually, you name like a big, four hundred pound, six foot seven guy, tiny. Hard to make out. I don't know. You guys, let us know what you hear. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think. Please. All right, so what? A <clears throat> Grab your phone, Joe. That was a big. Like, Whatever it was, it was big. Unlike tiny. <laughs> it wasn't tiny. I thought it was over here. There it is. Heard that whistle? Yeah. So somebody's here whistling, and then also <clears throat> maybe Tiny Tim is upset with us. Dude, that was loud. Yeah, it's loud. And you know what it sounded like to me? Like it sounded like a, almost like a gunshot, like a snap. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That put me on edge for a second, Joe. Yeah. You don't expect to hear anything out here, no. Again. Man, I wish we can just walk back there, but we're not going to. We'd have traffic on it, but probably, I don't see it's probably, what, uh, the road, Spring Hill Drive is probably... Oh, okay. Spring Hill Drive? Yeah, mile that way. Highway 19 is not too far.
you probably got a mile each way. That definitely put me on edge. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. <clears throat> I think it'd be okay if we walk through the park. I don't think so, Joe. I'm, yeah. I'm being, yeah, I'm... See... Yeah, maybe it's... Yeah, it's, it's this whole property, that's why these... Is belong, belongs yeah. to this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can, we can actually rent out the lake house one night. That'd be kind of cool. We can have a party and then go hunting. That would be awesome. Then we got free reign of this whole property. And I'm telling you what, Joe, if we get back there, because the way that path goes, comes off of that corner back there... And if there's anything crazy here, it's going to be down there. Is there a car coming? No. I'm almost at 30. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, wait, I must have shut my camera up for like 17. <clears throat> So that was weird. It sounded almost like a gun shot behind us, but it's hard to tell when we had the Necrophonic cap on. But, uh, it was, I don't know, it's kind of unnerving. I think what we'll do is we'll try to go by the woods here and maybe call it a night. Yeah, just able to give a good little video for everybody. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, always, you know, it's not that, you know, so you see this sign right here so I mean what we're doing is we're just we're respecting the law we don't I know we say that all the time we don't go in anywhere that has private property on it or no trespassing or whatever because you know and you know what even though sometimes there might be no tres there might not be a no trespassing sign it might still be off limits so we just have to use our discretion so i want to get back there though and i'm going to try and figure out a way to do it so i've got a lot of connections i'll see if i can figure it out cuz i think if we can get all the way back on the back side of this we can really get some creepy stuff um, nevertheless I think you guys, I hope you guys enjoy these videos where I just reminisce and bring you a little closer to my life because um, I talk to this camera more than I talk to anybody else, to be honest with you. Um, I shut down real quick and uh, it's pretty funny, actually. So, I mean, this is, talking into this is like, you're like my family. Um, or friends or however you want to look at it, but uh, you know, I, I bring you guys along with me everywhere I go and um, I love to hear stories about you guys um, If you don't like to hear stories about me, then I'm sorry <laughs> It's easy for you not to hear stories about me You just click and it's done. So I appreciate everything you guys do for me though I will say that I think we're gonna sign out. I am anyway because I, I just this is a feel-good video there's a couple of strange noises when we started. Um, I explained in my other video what's going on with uh, my dad and hospice coming in, but I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the videos. I might edit them backwards, put this one out first, I'm not sure. Um, or I might just throw that, that part of the video on this, so. Um, so if you didn't hear my father, we're going to be happy. Okay, my camera just shut off. You okay? Joe? You okay? Yeah, there's a bus people, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bus depot back there. Oh, that's what, there's a school right there, Joe. That's the school. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Um, again, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, so if I'm reiterating or whatever, I apologize. Um, uh, my cousin and his wife um, were not tested for the coronavirus because they live in New York and they will not test them, but they said they have all the symptoms, they're very ill. Um, and uh, 
my cousin's wife Amanda is on the I guess it's in stages so she's in the the end of the cycle and they said she's gonna be fine my cousin is just starting it so he's a little worried um, so we'll see what happens uh, so prayers to everybody out there that that are that are going through this stuff and I think we're gonna be okay I think uh, there are many more people getting through it than are dying from it so um, it's a virus so take care of yourselves take care of your family um, I hope you guys are safe, happy, and healthy. I know I keep saying that. I'm getting a little concerned because Joe's over there on that tree line. But um, but I am going to sign off. Uh, I think this is a feel-good video for me and uh, kind of want to keep it that way. I, I, and I hope you guys love it. But um, check out everything down below in the description, everybody. Uh, for those of you that are, have jumped on and helped my friend Rich with the Da Vinci Boa page, I am going to be a part of that page. Um, and and helping him um sort of like uh the upfront guy the personality i guess if you will uh, but i learned so much from him it's very informative um it's a lot of fun and i think we're gonna have a lot of laughs um as the videos start coming out with you know with me because if you want you know i love snakes i've had a, snakes for many many years um, but when you're dealing with snakes on that level, they have so many and he doesn't have time to play with each and every one of them, you never know what's going to come up. So that stuff scares me because I'm like a little, little girl, even though it doesn't hurt when you get bit by the babies and the little ones, the big ones will hurt you. But, um, anyway, thank you guys for supporting his channel. Um, I'm just trying to see where I can help out anybody, you know, whether it's a homeless person or a friend that their business is falling because of this. So. Uh, and that's that's why I'm doing what I do, and I think that's what helps the world go around and makes us all better people. So hopefully you guys can do the same. Help somebody out there if you can. Um, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully we can get another video out tomorrow. I don't know the next day tomorrow. Probably not. I might take a full day and just do nothing. Right? Do nothing. Sit poolside and drink a bunch of beers and have a nice day. So I will see you guys soon. I love you very much, and I hope you guys are safe. See you soon. Peace.